In this video, we're gonna go over your portfolios that you submitted to me last week in this text poll. Now, I currently run an agency, and in this agency, as well as when I'm lecturing as a professor, I have to go through hundreds of portfolios. I'm constantly looking at what's good, what's bad, what makes me wanna hire someone or not. And so today, we're gonna to go over all of these 14 different portfolios that people put into the link, and we're gonna to try to see what's good or bad about them. Let's go. And before we get started here, before we click leave, I have my own opinion. If you don't agree with it and it's your portfolio, then that's completely fine as well. My opinion does not mean it's right or wrong. Just take it with a grain of salt. So the first one here is gonna be marketed.co. Now, the first thing that I'm seeing right off the gate is gonna be some imbalance in the spacing here between the top and the bottom. And also this image here, it seems a bit out of place. Now, if this is going to be the entire ethos of your brand, this kind of light bulb with some smoky effect to it, then yeah, that's really cool. But what I'm seeing here is that we're not seeing this light bulb appear anywhere else in the site. Now, here we have some cool interactions, but it kind of seems random and, and out of place to be there. And also we don't really get a sense of who's actually in the company. If there's a light bulb running the company, then that's great. But I assume that there's a person behind it. So these projects look cool. The imagery themselves feel a bit standard, feel a bit like unsplashed. I'm guessing it is where we got some of these images from, but just try to make it a little bit more personalized to your own projects if you're going to be selecting them. Now, if we scroll here, we've got a couple of projects that you're showcasing. This little snippet looks pretty cool. We've got what you did, the actual a little description who the client is the date industry and then a website i'm gonna guess is in progress this one's up live so let's go ahead and click that yeah i mean it's cool it's a it's a pretty decent portfolio for just the simple landing page but i would like to know a little bit more about who is running it so maybe if i go into about us okay so then this image is is very common in unsplash i'm guessing that's where you took it and maybe if i click on yes yeah, so some of these links aren't aren't working either. So it would be good to feel a little bit more personalized with the site. And that I think is gonna elevate the feeling of the site a lot more. Next up is gonna be abdulwahab.design. Apologies for the naming here. But first thing, I really like this font they've got going on here. Why me endorsements portfolio side project. The nav is super, super simple. I've got a picture of you here, although it's a bit small. And then some of the companies that you've worked with. So far, the hero, most important thing is looking pretty good. This text is feeling a little bit heavy and it's feeling a little bit imbalanced with the check portfolio being kind of the main center stage here. Usually the text is gonna be center and then the button is gonna be a little bit lower. So just keep that in mind but I think it's fine for now. As I scroll down here, I really like these big numbers, these stat numbers, and I'm guessing this product designer. I'd like to see that come in a little bit more into the center stage because if we have it, might as well show it off, right? We might as well have that be part of the main design because even though we have text here in the center, I'm trying to focus on what this says. So product design, upage.us, lead design, designflow.agency. If these are real, if these are actual things, then you should have them come more central because they're big, big companies and they're quite cool to show off. All of these look great. I'm not sure if you need that interaction. It feels a little bit extra. It feels like it's more of a distraction than helping people read the actual testimonial. This little screen here showing the work itself, I think is really cool. It takes you to Behance. It would be cool to take you to the actual website of that project if you have it available, but I'm guessing all these are gonna be Behance just based on the pattern here. So I'm just checking down here, bottom left. These all show Behance, which is, it's okay, but I feel like you would like to see the real site just to show the actual work that has been built rather than a concept. One thing I'm seeing here in Chrome extensions is that if we have one Chrome extension, but 114 different Webflow websites, I would suggest to have the Webflow websites be the number one thing that we're starting off with. Maybe we wanna put that first and say, hey, look at all these different sites that I built, because if what you wanna do is get people to hire you or to check your portfolio, then it would make sense that that's the default, right? Rather than Chrome extensions, but anyways, this is one of the better portfolios that I've seen. Two thumbs up. Next up is gonna be hsdigital.co.newzealand. Now, first off, these lines in the background are super, super nice. Muy bueno, mi likey. As we scroll down to see more, I do have to say that all the lines are very nice and I think the color is very bright and powerful. I do have to say that I don't really know what to concentrate on when I see this. The first thing I wanna look at is high quality website design and development. Then I see our work. The scroll down to see more, you know, I'm kind of like wondering what is my purpose here? Do I, do you want me to get in touch? Do you want me to click on one of these? Do you want me to go to the nav? Do you want to keep scrolling? So it's kind of like, you don't really help the user guide them all the way down. And perhaps limiting the amount of things that you first see when you get on the site might help you make it a little bit more clear what you want them to do. Now, again, we're seeing this image here of the three guys smiling at a computer. It must be a very funny computer, but this seems to be kind of the same images that we're seeing on Unsplash. Now, if you do have an agency, just put a picture of yourself. It doesn't need to be super professional. I mean, obviously it would be, it would be better if it was, but it's fine if it's just a picture of you and your friends pretending to work. Actually even doing this, it's fine. Just make sure it's not kind of repeated on Unsplash. Next up is 
going to be leonardo.notion.site. I think this is a super cool site because we're kind of stripping away all the special effects and everything. We're kind of stripping it down to its bare bones, which is what is the work? Who am I? What does the actual work look like? And in this case, it looks pretty decent in terms of a university project. We get to see that what your work is like. Now, this makes sense to me if you want to get hired as a UX researcher. However, if you want to be hired as a UX designer and show off your skills as with design and all the stuff, I do think that your portfolio plays a big part in what kind of jobs you can do. You know, you want to be able to show that in the first glance, like boom, here's what I can do. This is my work. This is my power that I can bring to the table. And with a Notion site, I've seen them before and it's very nice to look at it and it's very simple to, to download and see all these things, but it might not be the most impactful thing for your client. Next up, we have David's portfolio. Now this portfolio is a little bit interesting. So up top here, which is seems to be the main stage, main center stage here is this coin interaction, or I don't know if it's a coin, but it's kind of what I'm seeing here. Now, one thing I don't understand with this portfolio is that this is not a scroll interaction. It's a mouse interaction. What would make more sense to me, I think, is if this was a scroll interaction, because as you scroll through the site, you can kind of make the, the thing move because when people are scrolling, the mouse isn't moving, you know, at least on, on trackpads that is, but other than that, that side, it'd be cool to see a picture of you if this is a personal site with your name on it in the URL and everything. Why not have some sort of picture of you there? That way you, you're you trying to showcase who you are rather than just having this this uh, coin here, which to me doesn't say much. I think it's a very, it's cool, like it looks nice, but it doesn't really scream, hire me. It doesn't scream, I am super talented. You know, it's just kind of, it's a nice effect. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it doesn't really say that much in terms of your, your work and your talent. If you wanna be hired for websites and then apps, I recommend that you have your design portfolio first and foremost, at least that's what you wanna be hired as is what you say here. And one thing to notice is that when you're going through all these different portfolios, if you're sending this to different companies, it's very unlikely that people actually click on your links it's best to just have everything out there. Be loud, showcase your work, make sure that people know what kind of stuff you're doing. Even if it's just this kind of design, just put a simple screenshot of it. And that says more to me than having this coin here appear. Next up, we've got dkportfolio.wefl.io. Now I think this is from a template, if I'm not mistaken. If it's not, then great job. But I think it's a similar piece of advice here with, if this is a personal site, I think, especially if you've been working since 2021, it'd be really great to be able to see who's behind that site and who am I going to be working with? Because that's that's really what we're doing here. We're working with other people, not asterisks. And so when we're creating these personal sites, I mean, I'm not going to give mine as the best example in the world because it has a lot of work to be done. But the first thing that you see is cool, what I'm doing, what I'm working on, and then it's a picture of me. And th that's it. I mean, there's there's really isn't that much more. But I think when you have a personal site like this, the most important thing is to be able to show people who you are, because if not, then the site is just extra. All this text is going to be probably skimmed over most times, if not completely ignored. And I'm just saying this from someone that looks at hundreds and hundreds of portfolios every single year. This effect here, super nice. Really like that. But yeah, I'd like to be able to, to click into these, I think, and be able to see what do your services actually offer. If I'm going to be hiring for wireframing or for UX design, it'd be really cool to see. Okay, click. Oh, cool. You, you These are the projects you've done UX design for, you know? But anyways, Really nice parallax effect. I like this hover interaction here. Clicking on that, it takes us to a real site, even if it's just a uh, staging name, all good. Okay, so this is quite funny. As we scroll down, interested in working together? Yes, takes you to the contact. No, changes to yes. Yes, you are, you're interested in contact, okay. Okay, next we've got monkvault.com, which is a very cool URL, if I have to say so myself. First thing that I am gonna say that I like is gonna be the color. It's very consistent. We've got this blue and purple situation going on. I like this image here where we, it looks like there's a hover kind of holographic effect on this image. There's no interaction, which is fine. But yeah, I like that where it's keeping things consistent, which is one of the top things that I argue for. Now the site is very simple, it's very sleek, and it doesn't have a lot of special effects and, and different interactions and animations, and I don't think you need them. The one thing that I would say that you need to make this site feel a little bit above the current level that it's at is maybe a little bit more intentional thought when it comes to the imagery. So here, just looking at this, we've got this image here. We've got these icons, which look like they come from different packs. This as well, different professional picture view, which is fantastic. We've got this, and then this kind of 3D looking bust of a, of a head. And down here, we've got this oval. Now I get the, the vibe that, that we're going with. It's kind of this new 3D holographic effect site with purple and blue. That's completely fine, but I think we need to figure out a little bit more the intention of these images so that we can pick better ones. Next up is gonna be Danny Quijano. 
www.ethereumcoin.com. Now, this site is quite interesting because as you can see, it's very simple. And I think this is the kind of site that you can easily build with Framer. Uh, there we go, with Framer. So yeah, I think that this kind of site is, is really interesting because it's very easy to build and access this kind of site. That's not a bad thing. Why is that not a bad thing? Number one, it's very easy for me to see who's involved, although I would like to see a bigger picture like we saw, I think, in that second portfolio. You know, blow your face up. Let's let's see who you are. Let's see who I'm working with. This copy email interaction, I think, is quite fun. I don't know if it works, actually. Yes, it does. Fantastic. And then selected work takes you to a little light box. That's very cool. I would prefer to see a real site other than some fake work, but I think that's that's fine for what we've got. Actually, I would say that if we do have prices like this starting at 2.5K or 2K retainers, then it would make more sense to have real case studies and real, real sites. I don't think you need a full on written case study. Not many people read those anyways, but just having these small thumbnails might not be enough to show people your true potential. You know, if we have such small images, like this, why not take this entire project and blow it up, have an entire page, have an entire presentation just for this one project and then do the same thing with all the other projects. If it's that cool and if you really wanna show off your work, I think we can do better when it comes to actually showing off the selected work. Now clicking on let's get started brings us to this full name email. Do you currently have a website? What's the number one challenge? Okay, so you're starting to ask the right questions here. Services you need, what's your estimated budget? and then sent. I think this is a pretty cool site and we're definitely in the right direction. Next one here starts off with this massive orange hay and it takes us into this decent animation with this two thing going on there. So there's a lot to talk about with this one portfolio. Number one, expert web Figma logo designer and Webflow developer Webflow logo from Lebanon. Okay, very, very cool. Super cool picture of you. We've got this animation or this interaction actually, these hover interactions as well. And then click me, it's asking. And then this vault door opens in the back. Okay, we're gonna talk about that, but very cool. So far, these interactions are absolutely stunning. I love this this orange with the glow. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm super cozy. I don't know. I personally really think this is, a, this is a cool effect, this glowing dot in the back as well. So far, I really like it. What is up with the vault? Why is that there? I know that it's there as like a cool effect and I might be completely wrong on this, but I think that it distracts from the work because I get to this and I've been kind of waiting for this for all these all these sites where it's like, look at my work, you know, like boom. There it is. But now I'm kind of distracted with this thing in the in the middle. And then I click, I want to click on this to see it larger or to open a new page or whatever. And instead I get the vault thing in the back, which I don't really understand if I'm being completely honest, but I think it's a very cool effect, the whole like vault door open. But either way, I think that the work itself is great. We can show it off. It's really big. It's good work there. But yeah, I think the vault door is kind of distracting us from the cool thing. This little text here, it feels a little bit out of place. It feels like there's no real flow to why this has to be here. If I was building this portfolio, I would, I feel like I would want to have a flow of sites that people can focus on. And then after give pieces of text, whether that's this testimonial or just another paragraph or whatever. But yeah, this piece of text feels a little bit out of place. I'm efficient. I never disappear and I stick to the plan. And then with the vault stuff in the back. Yeah, it just feels a little bit out of place. Like maybe it could have been it could have been further down, you know? Okay, for this portfolio, we're gonna translate it to English because I don't speak Italian yet. So let's see, I'll create a virtual space for you. Now, the wording here might be different because I obviously just translated it, so bear that in mind. Okay, so the first thing I really like is gonna be the simplicity of the colors, the orange, the black, and the white. Super simple, we're not going crazy with being all dramatic with gradients and all that. That's really nice. I think that we lack a little bit of imagery, whether that's of you, and that goes for the same with the, with the other portfolios, but we're lacking a little bit of uniqueness. This checkerboard in the back, it doesn't have any continuity with the rest of the site just yet. So I'm waiting to see if that's gonna have anything relating further down on the site. We've got create a site and contact me. Okay, let's see where this goes. So the first thing here, projects, take a look at your magical projects created, your idea could be next. Very cool. So we've got some tags here, web design, copywriting, web development. If I click this, I see that it goes to an actual, uh, I'm just looking at the bottom left here. I'm saying it goes to an actual URL on your site to showcase a little case study. Amazing. This is all you need. Nothing fancy, just big images showcasing your work because that's, as you can see, we reviewed like four or five projects and so far, only one or two have had this big work. Look at this design, hire me. That kind of vibe, that is what people look for. They wanna see the actual work rather than cool, crazy effects, in my opinion, okay? So as you scroll down, we finally see a picture of you. I think that you could use a a little bit more of a professional image. And yeah, other than that, so far the layout itself is quite simple, but I think it's fine to be simple. Maybe play around with your spacing between this H2 and the paragraph here. I think you can do a little bit more work there, but the images here, I'm guessing that these are real images, which is fantastic. I like the stick man. So, so far, I think this is a decent portfolio. You know, picture, I'd say improve that and add a couple more projects, but so far we're doing great. And 
the imagery as well, add some more continuity, give it a reason. Why is this here? You know, what is the point of this of this checkerboard? Is it to maybe we can see further down that it connects in some way or something is related to it? Maybe. But so far, I don't see anything related. But other than that, pretty good. Okay, let's go for the last few here so that we don't go crazy. But this one kind of annoyed me a little bit. I'm just kidding. But this one, it was funny because this is better than my portfolio. So it's kind of like, what do you want my advice for, you know? But this is uh, jsan.es. I'm gonna leave all the links to everybody's portfolio in the description. But this person has a awards honors, which if you don't know, awards is kind of like a, a website award website where you can get awards for websites. Website award, website. Okay, so as you scroll, we've got this very nice interaction with these cubes kind of blowing up in the back. And the last site that I talked about with the continuity issue, this is what I like between this site is that the logo of this person and the hero actually makes sense. They kind of, they talk to each other, right? Whatever this, this logo happens to be, it doesn't matter. It's just make sure that it makes sense for the rest of the site. So as you scroll down, we see your name, digital product, brand designer. Then we see this big fat show reel where we have the work, which is fantastic. Focus to craft, powerful brands, memorable, da -da -da -da. very cool. Playtomic, which is a massive brand. So I'm gonna click and see the project and it takes us to a case study page with this little animation that goes in and out. So that's fantastic. Expertise specs, a little video, some text, images. That's all you need. There's nothing fancy. Okay, apart from that, that's a little fancy. But other than that, and these interactions, but I think you can get clonables and Webflow templates and stuff that have this built in. So if you do want to go for this kind of style, if you're watching this and say, wow, that's a really cool portfolio, I'm sure that there are these effects that can be replicated elsewhere. But yeah, other than that, this dude is an absolute legend. Working as a product designer at Playtomic on the app side, sometimes freelancing websites. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good project. I don't see any pictures of you, which is a little bit disappointing, but let me see, maybe if we go to the about. Okay, so no pictures of you just yet. Lots of brands that you've worked with, awards and recognition, which is fantastic. So you definitely don't need my advice here, but yeah, maybe a, a picture of you, just because I don't know who you are. I like your work, I'd like to work with you, but I don't know, I don't know who you are. So that would be my advice. Next up here is kellyumera.me. So we are empowering gaming web three innovators with immersive design solutions, fueling seven figure growth. So that is quite the mouthful to say. I feel like if you can slim that down into a couple of words, maybe half of this or just two lines, just to say, we are empowering game designers to fuel seven figure, you know, whatever it is, if you can kind of narrow that down a little bit, it would be better. This interaction is very cool, shows who you are, which is great, shows that you're a serious guy, you're in front of a whiteboard, ready to do the work. I like the black, this beige and orange. Those are my favorite kind of color combinations. If you see tilebit.io, it's the exact same. This orange, black, white, it's the exact same. So trust me, I'm a fan. So, okay, here we got some case study works, which is fantastic. If we click it, it goes into the actual project page, which is fantastic. I feel like I, there was a little bit of a side scroll here, but again, this is the exact thing that I would look for because then, okay, I get to read a little bit about the project. I get to see what the, the image is relating to that text. And then I can go to the next one, the next one, the next one. I can kind of quickly skim through it, but I can see the, the value there, right? It's not about just text and there's a big paragraph here, I have to read it. It's more just being able to skim it, seeing the quality of work and seeing who is involved in that project. So we just passed 30 minutes in the recording, so I'm gonna end it there. If you guys have your portfolio that you want me to cover that I haven't already done, please leave it under the like button in the description and I'll be sure to take a look at it. But if you guys have any feedback about the sites that I talked about, if you guys have any different opinions then I'd love to hear them as well. I'm always down for an open discussion. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.